I relax completely right there. Oh! <laughs> I can still feel my toes, that's good. God, that's weird. You think you're gonna have a two-on-one, -on -one, two chiropractors? Yeah. Today? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. This is my finishing move. Yeah. Well, Goldberg has the jackhammer. Woo! Good job, Dr. Goldberg. Well, Thanks for all. Know, I, I learned it through osmosis, but my father was an obstetrician gynecologist, so are you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find okay. out. What's going on, 32 Land? Hey. <laughs> Look who I'm with today. The legend, the king of YouTube, the man that's got three channels, 20 million probably total subs at this point, the leader of the demolition, demolition ranch, off the ranch, heavy hey. ranch. Licensed veterinarian, YouTube extraordinaire, the man that created Bunker Branding. That's true, yeah. Who's sponsoring this video, by the way, so make sure we you guys are. go over there and get some merch. We'll, we'll talk afterwards, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but we're at the uh, the abandoned mansion now, so if you guys have been following his channel, you've been keeping up with it. He's moving into this place for what seems like a decade at this point. Yes. But they're finally here. They still don't have a driveway, but they're getting there. We have half a driveway. They have half a driveway. That's pretty neat. So, you know, concrete, you know. Yes. We're getting there. So we're working with them a little bit today. So you want to tell them a little bit about what happened with your back and the recovery around yeah, that? Yeah, I, uh, I tweaked my back working out. Um, I was doing some squats and I, I tweaked it and I've done it before and usually it heals up and this time it just didn't. So like six months later, I was like, man, I'm still not healed. And I went to a doctor, went and got an MRI, had a bulge disc. And so I went and had a micro discectomy and they just basically snip off that disc. And so that was probably, nine months ago and well, so I'm your yeah is that what that surgery is I don't know I was asleep yeah. and <laughs> yeah mostly mostly better now still stiff in the morning if you know what I mean <laughs> oh yes I, I, I know what he means in my back my lower back fasciitis and then it, then it warms up and I feel good okay yeah yeah so I'm back in the gym feeling great but the stuff down your leg is a lot better yeah so my, my main issue was I was like when I'd stand for over five or ten minutes, my left leg would start going numb, and that's why I finally went and got surgery. Okay, so the surgeon did a good job. Do you do physical yeah. therapy afterwards? Um, it's not really not really good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very busy. Yeah, I actually ran a marathon afterwards. So I, they told me they actually explicitly explicit is that the word told me not to run a marathon, and I just was like, but I want to run a marathon. Run. Yeah, that's a weird one because like the name of the guy comes from what he was he was leading uh, he was giving a message and was it Greece? I don't know. Have I seen him? I don't know. It's a guy named Marathon and he died after he brought the message, right? This, listen, I'm not a history buff, but that sounds like a good story. I'm not either. It might be true. Somebody fact check me in the comments if I'm wrong <laughs> there, but like now people pay to do it and they get a big gold medal and run around. And, mm -hmm. Yep. And actually my rehab tech, she does hundred mile races. Yeah. I actually did a 31 mile trail run and it was terrible, but during that same race there were people doing hundred mile trail runs and they were crazy. And of course the real question is like, when you gotta go, we, are you sleeping? Are you just peeing on yourself? Like, you pull over and, and go. Countryside. Yeah. Country living. Yep. That's Love how it. it goes out here. And you get some tension in your neck and all that kind of stuff too? Uh, a little bit. Not yeah. too bad though. Headaches, any of that kind of stuff? No. No, no. headaches. Okay. So mostly just lower back. Yeah. Um, all right. You scared a little bit? I'm actually really scared. Yeah. yeah. I've never, never done anything like this. No soft tissue, no uh -uh. adjustments. No. I don't like people touching me. So you're not going to touch me much, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. Cool. All right, let's what, get rolling. What's that big hammer for? This one? Yeah. It's, it's a BRH, you know. It's a Model 4. You need that? That's, that's a big hammer. I may or may not have been sent by your wife. Hmm. All right, let's rock and roll. Do I lay on this? I'm going to clear your neck wrong first, so let's sit and face okay. this way. What does clear your neck mean? Let's check your neck range of motion here. I'm going to have you turn your head to the left as far as you can. And then to the right all the way. So, how's that feel? Is it a little hard to go left? Uh, I don't know. Still Seem, same? Seem good, yeah. Okay. Look down. And then up. I'm just worried like at any time you're just about to snap my neck. <laughs> go back to center. <laughs> like he's gonna be like, go left. <laughs> I'll warn you first. You've got it all on video too, so. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get to this spot right here. I'm gonna hate this. Ow! Bring your right, your, your right shoulder. Ow, I hate it. <laughs> Ow. Why do people do this? That doesn't feel good at all. <laughs> and bring your head back to center. Oh, man. And then go to the right again. It's Goldberg's turn. Someone would say he's next? Yeah. Yeah, who's next? Goldberg. Hey, that's my line. Ow. That would be 20. Do people that usually cry during this? <laughs> they have before. Ow. <laughs> all right, so shrug that shoulder up. Which shoulder? The left one. <laughs> and drop it back down. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate this. So tell us a little bit about, so your dad was a vet, right? That's what got you into, into veterinary medicine. You yep. went to A&M, correct? I did, I went to Texas A&M. Yeah, I actually, uh, I grew up 
uh, I was born in Texas A&M. I mean, I was born at, in College Station when my dad was going to Texas A&M. <laughs> but yeah, I, I went to vet school too. God, not fun at all. Vet school? No, this. Oh, why do you do this? What's this doing? <laughs> this is a trigger point. Oh, it's working. I'm like sweating over here. You feel triggered? Yeah, I feel very triggered. But yeah, went to vet school and- uh, He feels triggered, that's the point. Became a vet and uh, did mostly small animal stuff, dogs and cats. Okay. We're dog people, we're dog parents. Cool, how many dogs you got? One and a half. <laughs> what, is, what are they? It's one a chihuahua? Yeah, like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have one, we're picking one up in like three days. Oh, how long does this go? I hate this. All right, we're gonna hold that till it starts to fade. I feel like you just got a knife in me right now. A knife in you? Yeah, a butter knife? What? I'm starting to sweat too. Is that normal? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm glad I wore a gray shirt. This will be. This will be nice. I did not anticipate sweating. Ow! I just thought, oh, this will be like a. It's like a massage video. This will be fine. <laughs> So are you pushing the same out right yeah. now, and it doesn't hurt anymore? Right. So I just stretched it out? Yeah. That's cool. Neurogenic inhibition. So basically that soft tissue is now lengthened. So if you think about the nerves, if there was a certain amount of nerves right here, and I pushed on it, pounds per square inch, I'm yeah. activating a lot of them. When they stretch and elongate, now there's not as many of them under my phone. Cool. I mean, it doesn't hurt at all anymore. But it really hurt before. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your undergrad major? Uh, biomedical science. Okay. Yeah. And A&M or Smarts? At, at Texas A&M as well. I went to, double giggle. Yeah, I went to Texas A&M for eight years. Four years for undergrad and four years for vet school. Ow! Man, I like actually have sweat dripping down from me. This is, this is interesting. I'm gonna be a sweaty mess by the end of this video. Hopefully. So you just did that on one side. Are you about to do it on the other side too? Well, we're not completely really done with this. I have to do it again? Ow! God, I don't like this at all. I'm always like, yeah, I'm actually pretty good at pain. And then you do this and I'm like, ah, I want to, I want to just run away and be like, no, video over. I there's there's I, different kinds of pain. I don't need any more adjusting. So, you know, there, we have these celebrity boxing matches coming up. So yep. Kyle, FPS Russia has been trying to fight people lately. Uh, has he really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's looking for an MMA fight. In fact, he challenged Diego Sanchez to a bare knuckle boxing match. Oh my gosh. That would be terrible. Would you step in and fight him? Uh, I mean, I have to look and see how good of a fighter he looks like. So. Like, is he still around? Because he, he seems like he wouldn't be a good fighter, but maybe he's been training, I don't know. I like can't make a normal face right now. I'm gonna try. Oh, no, can't. He's a champ. <laughs> <laughs> he's a champ. Oh. Is there anyone that- gun content. Right. Yes. Is there anyone that likes this? I like it. Does everyone hate it? <laughs> I generally I like, like it. it. <laughs> like, it just seems like everyone would be like, Hating this, but are there any freaks that are like, I love this? So think of it like this: if yes. if the muscle hurts, it's too tight. Yeah. So there are people that are too loose, like that are like yogis and people that get too much body work done. Yeah. To where this feels good on them, which I'm means they super need less of it than more. I'm not down. flexible anywhere. No. Nope. Muscles can do one thing: they shorten. Yep. And so if you shorten them over and over again, and you tear them down over and over again, they get shorter, and little little micro scar tissue builds in it. So then it can't reach its full length. And, it's a, the, and the fascia, you know, the, the tissue between it and it connects, it also does the same thing. Um, it's amazing though how great it feels when you quit touching me. Like, I just have this relief and I'm just like, I love that. <laughs> what was that, was the Brad Paisley song where he had a, a what's the dude from Seinfeld? Jerry? Uh, <laughs> George. That was good. It was George. Kramer. And he's like, the end of the song, that was great. He was like, oh, and it goes high. And then he's like, no, the end. Like when the song stops, oh. I love that. <laughs> and he's like, cries. You're probably too young for that one. How old are you? I'm um, 36. Yeah, you're a baby. I remember uh -huh. when I was 36. <laughs> How old are you? 38. <laughs> Good times. So when you do uh, Oberst or Brian Shaw, one of those dudes that weighs 400 pounds. Yeah. Like, are you sweating by the end of that? Yeah, I have to work a lot harder for sure. Yeah, like you have to push way harder into yeah. them to stretch those muscles. Yeah, yeah. and the levers are, are definitely harder too. So, you know, I'm 225. Yeah. So, you know, it, it is leveraged, sort of like jujitsu. So, as long as I'm in the ballpark, I don't have to work super hard. Yeah. Uh, but when somebody's double my weight, yeah, I've got to get up on the hard. table, and which is why it's hard for like really small providers to do this. And, like, I have some some providers that work for me that are like 120 pounds. Yeah. So they can, it's, it's hard work for them to work on me, but they're gonna have a really hard time on a 400 pound person. Yeah, it makes sense. It's just not gonna happen. So all you're doing, like what I do is I match tissue tension. So you're feeling where the resistance is and matching it. Yeah. So you don't push through it, but sometimes 
people aren't strong enough to find the end of the tension. Yep. So like that's not enough. Yeah. Right. That's enough. If I go any further than that, that's actually not productive. Gotcha. It's just hurting me more. Well, pain causes a, a reflex in the muscle. Sometimes it's useful. Sometimes it's not. Yep. So sometimes it causes spasm, which actually creates more of a pain cycle. Hmm. Oftentimes pain breaks the pain gate cycle. So like we talk about this with like a foam roller. Somebody foam rolls all the time. It doesn't work on them anymore. So then they go to PVC pipe. So why would that work comparatively? Like from a physics perspective, the mass of your body on it is still the same, yep. right? The, the surface area is relatively the same. Um, so there's not a massive physical difference, but it is harder. So there's more resistance back in your tissue. So what we think might be happening is the fact that it actually kind of hurts is helpful. It turns off the muscle to protect you hmm. because it's probably not a physical deformation at that point. There's just not a big enough change in the mass. Like you're not weighing twice as much. Now there's people that do stuff like body tempering where they're actually putting like a hundred, 200 pound weight on you that's metal. And that actually does deform the tissue. Hmm. And center. This is great guys. And again, and center. And again, that was a good spot. Wow, that's a bad spot. Right, we're gonna hold that one to the face. No, let's not. <laughs> what is that? That pain? Yep. You're pushing the same amount? Yeah. That's so weird because yeah, it doesn't hurt now. And before, I hated it. <laughs> I hate it so much. I hate a lot of things slightly. What do you hate lately? Just you. Oh. <laughs> Not unique. Like compared to, compared to you, I like Goldberg. Wow. Okay. So hook you right oh, I saw you doing this to someone and I did not want this one. <laughs> In the soul. Yeah. yeah, I watched one of your videos and you were doing this to somebody and I was like, that looks like the worst thing ever. It fades quick. Right? It does, yeah. <sighs> okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> I thought it might be bad too from nope. shooting with the right arm. Not really. No. Just a little bit. It's, it's alright, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That one's not as bad. Nah. It's not too much there. It's not, not good. So what do you poke in there? That's the subscapularis. Okay. All your shoulder and arm movements obviously come from scapular rotation of movement. Yep. If you don't have any of that, use your arm. You know. <clears throat> and then all the muscles in your neck tie into your scapula too. Yep. So you're jacked up here, you're going to be jacked up here. <laughs> What's going to happen here? <laughs> all right. We're going to decompress. I'm not looking up because I'm looking at your unit. <laughs> Should I relax completely? <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Ow. Feel that all the way down? Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Dr. Goldberg. Woo! Good job, Dr. Goldberg. Well, Thanks for all. I, I learned it through osmosis, but my father was an obstetrician gynecologist, so are you pregnant? <laughs> Let's find okay, out. Okay, this is for another YouTube channel. This is, this is the You're right here. So try to relax completely right there. Oh. <laughs> I can still feel my toes. That's good. God, that's weird. That's I've never had that. There we go. You're my first. I was in the flow again. I told Matt I had to sell him some crack on the internet, you know? <laughs> uh, this one's gonna be up high. Drop your right shoulder down this time. Oh. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy peasy. I can move my feet. Like a champ, right? Woo there. Yeah, this is Bring it right there. I'm gonna pull this over. So, big deep breath in. And blow it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that feels crazy. Into the right a little bit. Let's go. I'm gonna have you go left again all the way. And keep going. A little further. Keep going. A little bit more. Good. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit further. So have you seen animal chiropractic stuff? No. No? I mean, I guess no, I haven't seen chiropractic stuff. So I've seen like uh, you know, we, we learned a little bit about acupuncture and stuff, but no, no chiropractic stuff. Yeah, it's pretty big in Texas. So they do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. One of my, uh, our anatomy professor, I don't know if he's still there, Parker Giggleman? Giggleman, yeah. He's still there? I think he might have retired, but he was there and I was like... Yeah, he, he's a DVM, but he, he did, does both. He actually did like... Crazy. Alignment stuff with, with like racehorses and... Yeah. That's wild. How do you align a horse? That's a, that's a good question. But, yeah. You know, those, those breeders, the Kentucky Derby, they spend oh yeah for sure buku money on their yep. horses, and you know when you have a horse that's that expensive and, and that much on the line, you can do everything make for it, them, right? Perfect, yeah, yeah, it's wild. All right, bring that right arm up all the way, and that left side. I know, dude. Why did I wear gray? Left leaves are when you go up. 
Uh, left is for sure easier, yeah. Yeah, when I do like, um, like skull crushers, like when I come back, my right is what catches first. Got sure. it. Tied on the front is where it feels like? Um, trying to think. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the one that is less flexible. So, <laughs> fire, your, fire your left oblique and pull yourself to the left a little bit. Like that? Yeah. Okay. You think you're going to have a two on one, two power practice? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How's Thursday gonna go? <laughs> Pull that arm a little more. A little more. Ow. A little more. I hate you too now. <laughs> There's three hated people in here. A little more good. Ow. Okay. All right, now extra more. <laughs> and I'm gonna have you do the same motion. So now we create a few bonuses a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, so tilt to the left with your body a little bit more. There we go. And pull down just a little. A little more, a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Getting hammered with Matt. Ah. Try not to like, just break the wrist. Ah. Yeah, take his arm off. All right, bring that arm up again. There we go. Is it clear a little more? Is it? I think so. Ugh. Yeah, on the yeah. top. This is the motion when I, when I wait like that and I drop it down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it does feel less tight than normal, but that's usually when I feel it like pull over my head like that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So go right here. Let's go here. Shoulder presses. I'm gonna hook you here. <laughs> bring, the bring the elbow back down. This. <laughs> I hate that. This is my finishing move. Yeah. Don't forget the jackhammer. <laughs> uh, I did not know you were supposed to grab it like that. I've got the lap pincher. Ah. Raise the roof. Ugh. Bring it back down. Raise the roof. <laughs> God. Down. And raise the roof. <laughs> and back down. Like kind of tickles and kind of hurts. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Golly. Can we go four more? Oh my gosh. I think my favorite is everybody that like uh, gets paychecks from people, like loves to see when they're getting beat up. <laughs> like, ah! This is for all those aggressive emails you sent me. Oh golly. That's it. Alright. Then come back up. That's pretty much what it's always been though. Yep. Like, that's what it, that's not after back surgery. I've always been like that. Okay. And then face that way. Which way? Uh, that way. And lean back. Any pain there or just? Um, no. Stiff. Yeah, just stiff. No pain. Like in the morning? Yes. Okay. So Let me have you extend this leg as high as you can. So raise the left leg up as far as you can. And now the other side. Does feel the same? Uh, I mean, I don't have any pain. I don't know if they feel like tighter or anything. Neither leg feels heavier to you. Do what? Neither leg feels heavier or more. I don't think so. Nope. I think pretty even to me. They look different? Okay. Nah, I think your pelvis is good. Just this fascia in your lower back. The joy. Yeah, I feel that stretching. So this, this won't feel as bad to you. This will feel productive compared to the neck. Yeah, for sure. All right, this feels like I need that. Yeah, that one does not hurt. I just feel it stretching. Yeah, so, yeah, this is a real tight through. Yeah, that one does hurt right there. Yeah, the ones on the back of my head feel like it goes into my brain. Yeah, cervicogenic referral. So this, this top couple of nerves, like the cervical nerves, they share the same ganglia going to the front of your head as your trigeminal nerve. Yep. So when the top of your neck, particularly like C1 and 2, get irritated, you'll feel it in your head or your forehead. Yeah. So a lot of people will mistake those kind of like headaches yeah, for, for felt, migraines. It felt like a headache, yeah. Right. So like we say in, in soft tissue world, if I can recreate it, then I can fix it, right? So it's not a migraine because migraines are neurogenic. Hmm. They, they come from the inside and they're, they're pretty predictable. But culturally, we've used the word migraine to describe a really severe headache. Yeah. Kind of like we did with flu, right? Right. So kind of a broad term. Right, we've in, we bastardize a virus called influenza virus, and now everything culturally is that. Everything's the flu. Right. And even with the, the situation, you know, uh, when people say cold, you know, 90% of them are rhinovirus, but of course people are gonna now think that all colds are, you know, my coronavirus. Are we allowed to say that on YouTube anymore? I don't even know. I think so. That was completely off limits for a while. Yeah, I, th I think it's allowed now. The situation. Yeah, you'd say the you know what's going on in the world right now, but you wouldn't say Corona. Yeah, people would if we'd go somewhere and like we don't have a coffee because of the situation. And I was like, damn, the Jersey Shore guy is messing everything up. <laughs> the situation. Man, well, Mike, 
He's everywhere. Like he's messing up the coffee coming to my room. <laughs> the hours of operation for my local laundromat are now shorter. Wow. Are you pushing harder? Huh? Are you pushing harder? I'm just hurting more. On the upper part. Yeah. yeah. We're wearing different tissue also. So you have several layers of fashion in the lower back, and I'm assuming animals as well, right? Mm -hmm. So you have deep thoracic, you have superficial, and you have muscles in between those, mus uh, those fascial layers too. So quadratus laborum, multifidi, and then your general erectors. So how's my erectors looking? Pretty erect. Sweet. Yeah. After we're done, your erector will be set. <laughs> erector set, uh, I reach for that one. Yeah, that hurts. All right, we'll hold that one until it fades. What if it never fades? And we'll be here for a long time. <laughs> it is fading. You're right. Turns out you kind of know what you're talking about. I've done it a couple times. I'll be honest. Before today? That's why you're the guinea pig. I didn't really believe in this stuff. Let's go and raise the left leg up again. There we go. Right up first time. What's that, man? <sighs> I can still walk. <laughs> so let's face that way. So we can get you in motion here. Take one step to your right. And go ahead and bend forward, touch your toes. Do what? <laughs> Come on back up. <laughs> My knees are bent, so that wasn't a real one. Go down. That wasn't a real one. Sure. Back up. Uh, yeah. Back up. And down. Good, back up. Oh. One more time. Good. Oh. Where's that stopping you? My back, my knees. Okay, like my hamstrings. It's a popliteus area. Yep. I didn't see where was the first time. Okay, let's go both hands here. All right, bring your elbows down. Make deep breath. And blow it out. Go ahead and sit right here. Sit. And pull that elbow back pretty hard. Oh, that's crazy. Same thing here. So what, what does popping that do? Pull back. Get there. So if a joint's stuck and you get cavitation, that's the joint getting full range of motion. Gotcha. So that one needs that one doesn't. So what about like when you pop your fingers? Mm -hmm. Like is that the same kind of thing? Is that and is is there any negative to that? Like does it cause someone told me it causes arthritis, early arthritis. Doing so the only singular study that was ever done, like which was an N of one, yeah. was one person popping one side versus not the other side. Uh -huh. And the, the hand that popped the most actually had significantly less arthritis. There you go. So it's, so. it's fast because that one person did it. Well, it's super weak evidence, but yeah, it's, sure. it's an interesting idea. Yeah. You know, it's hmm. an N of one, you know, so we don't really know for sure. Yeah. So there's multiple theories between them. The, that theory actually makes more sense because you're, you're increasing circulation of, of joint fluid yep. repeatedly. Because that's what does happen when you cavitate and you're keeping your range of motion. Yeah. So if it pops, it means you reach full range of motion. So maybe the pop isn't the reason why. Maybe it's just because you reach full range of motion. True. So you don't just Stretching. keep getting more arthritic over time because gotcha. you don't reach range of motion. But we don't really know. Hmm. So. Interesting. I mean, like everything. Like when was when was insulin? 1921. When insulin? When insulin became? I didn't know that. Available. Penicillin was first commercially available in like 41, 42. Yeah. So like what medicine do we have before then? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Mercury, arsenic, <laughs> you know, so everything's pretty new. I mean, MRIs are 80s technology really. Yeah. So I mean, we didn't, we haven't had longitudinal studies on much, psychiatric meds, you know. Yeah. What's the long-term consequence of that? <laughs> <laughs> and, and what all this other stuff has shown us in the last two years, like, Who's doing the study? You like what? Right. You know, what's their motive? Right. Is it is it cluster control? Is it randomly controlled? Is it yeah. is it non biotic? Is it done in in computerized labs? And then does that translate to the real world? And 
you know it's i think it's open to average person's eyes to how hard it is to do really good research yeah you know makes sense and to repeat it and you know i love that you're just like giving me these facts while you're just like boom, boom. it's the virgin yeah it's tricking me i i know what you're doing i know what you're doing <laughs> this is all that distraction <laughs> All right, stand up, shake it out. Good. Feel, feel great. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I do. I'll like, do a backflip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try a backflip. I've never done one. Let's do it. All right. So if you're talking about hurting your disc, that's the way to do it. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming on. So make sure you guys go show him some love. Bunker Branding. He's got all the gear over there. He really wants you to buy some of Goldberg's gear. Pretty much. <laughs> so, so buy it with your money. Make sure to sub to his channels. All three of them are going to be below. So we have Off the Ranch, Demolition Ranch, Bet Ranch. You still posting on Bet Ranch? Uh, you got other people. So we have other people there. Yeah, the hard part about Bet Ranch is like you got totally. YouTube hates Bet Ranch more mm. than it hates guns. Really? Yes. Wow. Because it's got blood in it. Yeah. They totally like just nuked it. Damn. Like it doesn't. It just stopped getting views. It stopped like no monetization hardly. Like it. YouTube hates saving kittens, just so y'all know. Just so you know, just think about that. You might want to drop some comments. Tell YouTube what you think about, you know, saving kittens, because I like to save kittens. He actually can save kittens. Uh, YouTube, I think you need to get on the page, man. That's true. Cool. Thanks for coming on. Catch you on the next one. Bye.